Kerry, do you declare that you do not know of any civil impediment to marriage about to Killian? I do. Killian, do you declare that you do not know of any civil impediment to marriage about to Dr. Kerry? I do. Because to the depths of me, I long to love one person, with all my heart, my soul, my mind, my body. Because I need a forever friend to trust with the intimacies of me, who won't hold them against me, who loves me when I'm unlikable, who sees the small child in me, and who looks for the divine potential of me. Because I need to cuddle in the warmth of the night, with someone who thanks God for me, with someone I feel blessed to hold, because marriage means opportunity to grow in love, in friendship, because marriage is a discipline to be added to a list of achievements, because marriages do not fail, people fail. When they enter into marriage, expecting another to make them whole, because knowing this, I promise myself to take full responsibility for my spiritual, mental and physical wholeness I create me. I take half of the responsibility for my marriage. Together we create our marriage because with this understanding, the possibilities are limitless. Dear children of God, you've come to this church so that the Lord may see your love in the presence of the priest and this community. Christian marriage is a sacred union which enriches natural love. It binds those who enter it to be faithful to each other forever. It creates between them a bond that endures for life and cannot be broken. It demands that they love and honor each other, that they accept from God the children he may give them and bring them up in his love. To help them in their marriage, the husband and wife receive the long life grace of the sacrament. Kara and Killian, I ask you, is this your understanding of marriage? It is. it is. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. I, Killian, take you, Kira, as my wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor in sickness and in health all the days of our lives. I, Kira, take you, Killian, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health all the days of our lives. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. Lord bless Kira and Killian and consecrate their married life. May these rings be symbols of their faith in each other and a reminder of their love through Christ our Lord. Kira, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Killian, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. No, well, has no. No, kill you. What kind of show? The first time kissing your wife, give her a proper kiss this time, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Escape with 
Before I met Kira, I was probably a bit cynical and um, probably like aggressive. That was kind of maybe my nature, but quiet as well, but kind of on the cynical side. But she's definitely showed me how to have more fun and a bit more joy in life. Um, she's changed me and I think I've changed her a bit. And, you know, we'll continue to grow and change for the better. And I think that's what makes it a good story. Um, so, Kira, I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, so please join me in raising a hand to my beautiful wife, Kira. Thank you to my husband, Killian, for my soulmate, my best friend. Um, whether we were travelling around Italy, um, enjoying a movie at the cinema or just at home reading a book, I'm always happiest when I'm with you. Today marrying you at the church was the happiest I've, I've ever been, I've ever felt. Have a 22nd